All right, so we're going to go ahead and install uh, Raspberry Pi OS. Um, this, this process we're going to use is just a lot easier than trying to download the image and putting it on a, a card using a utility. Um, RaspberryPi.org now has this great um, utility to do it for you. So let's, let's give it a shot here. So I'm on, um, I'm on an Ubuntu-based system, Linux Mint. If you're on Windows or Mac OS, just download the correct uh, installer for your platform. Okay, so I've got the, um, it's going to download a deb file, which is the installer for, uh, for Ubuntu. And I'm just going to go ahead and open that. And it's going to say install package. So here we go. And I just put in my uh, administrator password or root password and click continue. <coughs> um, when I, um, when I did uh, this command they have here, so when I put uh, just the regular, try to install it using apt. Now in my case, it didn't install. Um, oh, there we have. It's already installed now because I just installed the dev. But before I got an error, it said it wasn't found. So, so I'm not really sure. Um, all right, so anyways, uh, it's installed now. So by downloading the dev file and then running it, um, any Ubuntu-based system is gonna have it installed. Whoop. And this is what it looks like afterwards. Okay, so this is the, you know, graphical installer for Linux Mint. Okay, so now I can search uh, Raspberry Pi, R-A-S-P, right? And now I'm just going to launch it. I'm going to stay in the um, GUI here. Um, so it's just a lot easier. And it's going to, this is going to look just like what you'd see if you're on Windows or, um, or Mac. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the OS, and I'm just gonna choose the Raspberry Pi OS. Um, choose the storage, I have the SD card reader already done, and boom, let's write it. Easy enough. It gives you the name of the disk. Um, <clears throat> if you're wondering, um, basically when you chose the disk, the easiest way to figure out which disk you have is just to look at the size of it. Um, you know, your, your uh, hard disk is going to be giant, so you should see something that's close to the number of gigabytes that you, um, that you uh, have on your SD card. Okay, so it's preparing to write, and you're basically just going to watch, you know, down here at the bottom. Uh, you're, gonna, uh, you're going to um, uh, just watch it as it progresses. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pause here, and, uh, and we'll pick it up a little bit later in the process. Okay, so now um, it's, it's done the first step here and now it's writing. Um, it definitely didn't allow, download the entire thing, so, uh, so this is really great. I think it's writing incrementally as it downloads, which is fantastic. Um, okay, so we'll rejoin it a little later in the process. Okay, we're now at 32%. It's been about a couple minutes here, so we're going pretty good, I think. Okay, we're up to 80%. It's been just a few minutes here. Things are going great. Okay, so at this point it's written the image and now it's verifying it. it should just be a couple more minutes. Okay, there we have it. So it's been imaged. Um, now we can remove it from the reader and install it in our Raspberry Pi. Best of luck.